This morning during the uh, overnight hours at about 3.22 a.m., the Orange County Sheriff's Office received 911 calls in regards to a shooting that was occurring at the Caribbean Unity Club at 5324 Silver Star Road. Deputy arrived on scene and discovered a male that was deceased in the parking lot. Uh, individuals, a black male, approximately 20 to 30 years of age, uh, and individuals were also leaving the area. As they conducted that investigation, they were able to determine that possibly more than one shooting, multiple shootings were occurring in the parking lot. As they conducted an investigation here in the initial minutes, they received another call from the Orlando Police Department regarding another individual that was discovered at Princeton and John Young Parkway in a vehicle. That individual was rendered aid and transported to the RMC hospital, where unfortunately he uh, also uh, succumbed to his injuries. That individual is described as a Hispanic male, 26 years of age, by the name of Juan Carlos Ilaraza. He, his next to him, have been notified. Our homicide team is on scene. Our forensics team is on scene, conducting follow-up investigation, conducting interviews, and obtaining statements. They do have some individuals that they're speaking to at this time, but we do ask the community to provide us information to police call crime line in regards to the shooting that occurred this morning. We know that there was a lot of individuals here. There was a lot of people that were in the club. There was a lot of people that were out in the parking lot, and we're trying to piece this together because we have two individuals that are dead, two individuals that were shot, and we're trying to determine the circumstances of that shooting because we know that there was shooting going on in this parking lot early this morning. We know there are witnesses out there that can provide us information, and they can provide us that information via crime line and also provide it anonymously if they need to. Again, we're reaching out to our community to provide us information that will help us solve this crime. Thank you. Yes, the information that we have, preliminary information at this point as we're putting the details together, are that the when we arrived on scene, we discovered one male was deceased in the parking lot. As part of the shooting or shootings that were occurring in the parking lot, another individual was struck. He fled the scene, was, stayed, was being transported. That individual uh, stopped at Princeton and John Young Parkway where they uh, met up with an individual there, security guard, contacted law enforcement, fire department responded. He was then transported to ORMC, but he succumbed to his injuries. What well, we have is two individuals that were shot, two individuals dead that we know of at this time. So those are four people shot? Two individuals total. Two? Individuals yes, ma'am. And both died? Yes, so ma'am. both were shot, both died. Yes, ma'am. Any indication of what might have led up to the shots being fired? Well, we know that there's a, at least maybe some type of altercation, some type of confrontation occurred. Again, all of the details of that is still to be uh, developed by our detectives. Some of that information obviously will be part of the investigation and won't reveal that information at this time. Uh, but we know that something occurred. There was a confrontation uh, spilled out, potentially out into the parking lot where all of the shooting occurred, and that's what we're trying to determine at this time. Do you think there's multiple suspects involved? That's what we're trying to determine. If there's multiple suspects, multiple shootings, what information can we gather from the individuals that were here? And that's what uh, we're following up uh, during the overnight and into the early morning hours uh, throughout the morning and the obtaining statements. Is there a killer on the At this point, we're still following up on that, trying to determine all of the information that we can gather. Our homicide team is trying to determine how many shootings occurred, were there multiple shootings, who shot. And that is the information that we need from our community. The people that were inside the Caribbean Unity Club can help us determine that information. If they have anyone or anything that they can provide us, even though they think it might be a minimum information, we ask them to call Crime Line and provide that information. So I'm looking at a furniture store right now. Is that actually a club? What you're looking at now, probably not from your angle, but the Caribbean Unity Club is at 5324 Silver Star Road. It is a part of this uh, shopping center behind me on the far side, far uh, east side of the shopping center. So that's where we think this altercation spilled out of people coming from the club? That is correct. That is correct. And, and at this point, um, just releasing the one identity? I'm sorry, I can barely hear you with this gentleman. The, just releasing the one person's identity? That is correct. The other individual, we want to make sure we notify the next of kin and that he's positively identified. Do you know if there's cameras in the area? That is all part of our investigation. We'll continue to follow up. We'll scan the area. We'll look for anyone else who may have seen something. We'll look for uh, video cameras, security cameras, and try to obtain that information that will help us in our case.
What's that? No suspect in custody. At this point, we do not have anyone in custody. We are questioning individuals that were present and will continue to do that throughout the morning. And this is an area of Orlando where we see a lot of violence. Do you have any message for people in the community who might be concerned to hear about this and know that there are, is a gunman or possibly there are gunmen? Well, we are looking again for all of the information that we can gather. This is an area where we work hard. We've been working with the Orlando Police Department closely. Uh, Sheriff Demings has put a lot of resources into this area and continues to do so. We have a detail that works here uh, throughout the evening, through the daytime hours, and into the late, time, late night hours as well, early morning hours. Uh, when you have a situation where you have alcohol, you have a disturbance that occurs, you have individuals with, with firearms, uh, violence is, is, is a mix for that. So one of the things we want again is, is when you go out, you know, the violence is not the answer for these things, but obviously it does occur. We want to get these people off the streets. While we have you here, is there any update on the attempted rape that you guys responded to? Ma'am, I will have to do additional follow-up on that before I can provide you any information on that. Have Thank you had you. an issue in this parking lot before and was specifically related to that the Caribbean? We would have to do a search of calls for service. I do not have that as I stand here before you. Okay. Could you go second the again? The victim's name is 26 years of age, Hispanic male, Juan Carlos Ilaraza. I-L-A-R-R-A-Z-A is the information I have at this point. Could you spell that 26 one? years of age. I-L-A-R-R-A-Z-A. Okay. Is he the one that died here or on He is the, the information. Inf he was, excuse me. He is the individual that passed away after he was transported from Princeton and John Young Parkway. No, sir. That is the individual has not been positively identified. We want to make sure that when he is identified, we notify next of kin first. I, as I advise, 20 to 30 years potentially. That is all preliminary at this point. Captain, okay. Is there a second crime scene over there? Sir? Is there a second crime scene at Princeton? There was this morning, sir, during the overnight hours. Currently, the uh, crime scene at John Young and Princeton has been cleared.